the eighth holy Imam, Imam Ali ibn Musa al-Rida, salawat Allah wa salamu alayhi. Famously would narrate Hadith Qudsi. Hadith Qudsi, please remember this Hadith. The Hadith says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ana ma'a dhanna abdi. I am with what my servant thinks of me. If they think good, they'll see good. If they think bad, they'll see bad. It is all about how we think of the Almighty. Meaning what? That when I approach a dua, and when I am approaching Allah to ask Him for something that I am looking for, do I really believe He's going to give me? Or is it I'm just asking because everyone else is asking? Am I going with the flow? Or is there deep conviction that if it's good for me, I will get it? Is there or is it not? Because I tell you, sometimes what happens? We get into this ritual mode where we do things for the sake of tick, not understanding why we do it. This is a very important, delicate point. Sensitive in the mindset of some people, yes. Because in this day and age, sometimes our youth were coming up with all kinds of different challenges in the world out there, including their approach to religion. Some are coming forward and are asking why for everything. Why this? Why that? Why this? I want proof for this. I want proof for that. And they often turn to a marja called Ayatollah Facebook. They turn to that kind of marja or Google or whatever, and they look for answers. Yes, why do I have to wear hijab? Why this? And so on. The idea of submission to God is becoming less and less. We need to challenge. We need to address these issues. But one of the key things that we need to also look at is our attitude towards worship and the remembrance of God. And with that, to appreciate why we are doing what we are doing. That ethos is of the utmost importance. And when we think about, for example, approaching our youngsters who have question marks over prayers, why do I have to pray? Instead of telling them, you have to pray, otherwise God's going to punish you and hang you from whatever and barbecue you in Jahannam. Instead of using that language, say, because look at what we have. Isn't it nice to express thanks to God the Almighty? Isn't it good to be expressing gratitude to Allah? Isn't that a nice thing to do? Yes. Look at all the blessings that the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. Similarly, when I come to ask hajat or when I come to dua, one of the most important things I must do is not necessarily look for the quantity, but the quality of my dua. And the quality of my dua entails me to have a positive mindset. 